Our solar system is a fascinating place, filled with a diverse array of planets, each with its own unique characteristics and quirks. From the scorching heat of Mercury to the icy depths of Neptune, there are plenty of weird and wonderful facts to discover about each of the eight planets. In this video, we'll take a tour of our solar system and explore some of the strangest and most interesting facts about each planet. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride through the cosmos. Number 1. Blue Sunsets on Mars Unlike the familiar hues witnessed on Earth, where sunsets often display warm tones of red, orange, and pink, the Martian atmosphere imbues the evening sky with a distinct and mesmerizing blue. The unique Martian sunset is a consequence of the planet's thin atmosphere, primarily composed of carbon dioxide. As sunlight penetrates this sparse atmosphere, it scatters in various directions, similar to what happens on Earth but with notable differences. On Mars, the scattering of sunlight is more efficient for shorter wavelengths, such as blue and violet, leading to the dominance of these colors in the evening sky. These blue sunsets on Mars have been captured by robotic missions, such as NASA's rovers, providing stunning visual representations of the Martian twilight. The images showcase the alien beauty of the red planet inviting us to contemplate the wonders of the Martian atmosphere and its influence on the play of light and color. Number 2. There are 95 moons orbiting Jupiter. It's true, Jupiter is a moon-rich planet. It has an astounding 95 confirmed moons, more than any other planet in the solar system. These moons range in size from the mass of Ganymede, which is larger than the planet Mercury, to tiny moonlets just a few kilometers across. Jupiter's moons are a diverse bunch, with varied compositions and surface features. Some, like Io, are volcanic worlds covered in lava flows and sulfur dioxide frost. Others, like Europa, are icy bodies with potential underground oceans, the sheer number of moons orbiting Jupiter makes it a fascinating system to study. Scientists are still discovering more about these moons and their interactions with Jupiter and each other. Number 3. Mercury and Venus are the only planets that have no moons. Mercury and Venus, the innermost planets of our solar system, stand out as unique celestial bodies in several ways. One notable distinction is that these two planets lack natural satellites or moons, setting them apart from their planetary counterparts. Mercury, named after the Roman messenger god, is the smallest and closest planet to the Sun. Despite its proximity to our star, its surface experiences extreme temperature variations, ranging from scorching heat during the day to frigid cold at night. Mercury's lack of a moon is intriguing, as most of the other planets in our solar system have at least one or more satellites. Venus, often referred to as Earth's sister planet due to its similar size and composition, shares the peculiar characteristic of being moonless with Mercury. Like Mercury, Venus is also located relatively close to the Sun, and its thick atmosphere traps heat, resulting in a surface temperature that could melt lead. The reasons behind the moonlessness of Mercury and Venus are not completely understood, but various theories have been proposed. One hypothesis suggests that the gravitational influence of the Sun played a role in preventing the formation or maintenance of moons around these planets. Another possibility is that any moons that may have formed in the early stages of these planets' existence could have been ejected or collided with the planets themselves. Number 4. Earth is the only planet not named after a god. While the other planets in our solar system derive their names from deities revered in various cultures, Earth stands apart with a name rooted in Old English and Germanic languages. 
The word earth has its origins in Old English and Germanic languages, such as Jörð in Old English and Erda in Middle English, both of which mean ground or soil. This linguistic choice reflects a practical and down-to-earth approach to naming our home planet, emphasizing the tangible and fundamental nature of the land beneath our feet. In contrast, the names of the other planets in our solar system have connections to ancient mythology. For example, Mercury is named after the Roman god of commerce, travel, and communication. Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Mars is named after the Roman god of war, and so on. These names were bestowed upon the planets by astronomers who often drew inspiration from classical mythology, as well as from the cultural context of their time. The choice to name Earth differently reflects a departure from the trend of associating planets with divine beings. Instead, it emphasizes a connection to the very substance that sustains life, the solid ground on which we stand, cultivate, and build civilizations. Earth's name conveys a sense of groundedness, highlighting the significance of the physical world that we inhabit. Number 5. Saturn is less dense than water. Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun in our solar system, is renowned for its stunning ring system and unique features. One intriguing characteristic of Saturn is its low density, which is notably less than that of water. Saturn is a gas giant, primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, with trace amounts of other elements. Unlike Earth, which has a solid surface, Saturn lacks a distinct solid surface and is predominantly composed of gases. This composition contributes to its low density. The average density of Saturn is approximately 0.687 grams per cubic centimeter while water has a density of about 1 gram per cubic centimeter. This means that if you could find a colossal bathtub large enough to hold Saturn, the gas giant would indeed float on water due to its lower density. Saturn's low density is a result of its unique atmospheric and structural makeup. The outer layers of the planet consist of hydrogen and helium in gaseous form, gradually transitioning to more dense and compressed layers towards the core. The lack of a solid surface also plays a significant role in Saturn's overall density being less than that of water. Number 6. Neptune's moon Triton orbits the planet backwards. Triton, the largest moon of Neptune, is a celestial anomaly in our solar system due to its unique and intriguing characteristics. One of the most notable features of Triton is its unusual retrograde orbit around Neptune, a phenomenon that sets it apart from the majority of moons in our solar system. Most natural satellites, including Earth's moon, orbit their parent planets in the same direction as the planet's rotation. This is known as a prograde orbit. However, Triton bucks this trend by following a retrograde orbit meaning it moves in the opposite direction of Neptune's rotation. This backward or retrograde motion suggests that Triton may not have formed in orbit around Neptune, but rather was captured by the planet's gravitational influence at some point in the distant past. Triton is also one of the few moons in the solar system to have a substantial atmosphere, which is made up mostly of nitrogen and methane. Its surface features include icy plains, geysers erupting nitrogen gas, and a complex network of fractures and ridges. Additionally, some scientists believe that Triton may harbor a subsurface ocean of liquid water, making it a potential target in the search for extraterrestrial life. Overall, Triton's backwards orbit is just one of many fascinating characteristics that make this moon a standout in the solar system. Number 7. Uranus is named after the Greek god of sky. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and the third largest planet in the solar system. The planet was named after the Greek god of the sky, Uranus, 
who was the father of Cronus, Saturn, and grandfather of Zeus, Jupiter. The planet was first discovered in 1781 by the astronomer William Herschel, but it wasn't until 1850 that the name Uranus was officially adopted. Prior to its discovery, Uranus was often mistakenly identified as a star due to its dimness and slow movement across the sky. Herschel's discovery was a significant milestone in astronomy, as it was the first time a planet had been discovered using a telescope. Uranus is notable for its unusual tilt, with its axis nearly parallel to the plane of the solar system. This results in the planet appearing to rotate on its side, with its poles facing the sun at different times during its orbit. The planet has 27 known moons, many of which are named after characters from the works of William Shakespeare and Alexander Pope. The largest of these moons is Titania, which was also discovered by Herschel. Number 8. Pluto has a heart-shaped feature on its surface. Despite being reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006 by the International Astronomical Union, Pluto continues to reveal intriguing features that challenge our understanding of the outer reaches of our celestial neighborhood. One of the most enchanting discoveries about Pluto is the presence of a heart-shaped feature on its surface. The heart-shaped region is a large bright area on Pluto's surface, and its unique appearance adds a touch of whimsy to the otherwise distant and icy world. This heart-shaped feature was first observed in detail by NASA's New Horizons spacecraft during its historic flyby of Pluto in July 2015. The images sent back to Earth revealed a vast icy plain with a bright, heart-shaped region that spans a significant portion of Pluto's surface. Scientists believe that the heart-shaped feature on Pluto's surface is not just a whimsical coincidence, but rather the result of complex geological processes. The processes shaping the heart may involve a combination of geological activity, volatile sublimation, and seasonal changes on the distant dwarf planet. As scientists continue to analyze the data from the New Horizons mission, Pluto's heart serves as a reminder that even in the most remote corners of space, there is still much to uncover and learn. Number 9. Mars has the tallest mountain in the solar system, Olympus Mons. Mars boasts the tallest mountain in the entire solar system, a colossal peak known as Olympus Mons. This massive shield volcano is a prominent feature on the Martian landscape standing as a testament to the planet's geological history and unique topography. Olympus Mons is an awe-inspiring structure, reaching staggering heights that dwarf any mountain on Earth. This extraordinary height is a consequence of the planet's distinct geological processes and lack of tectonic plate movement. On our planet, the movement of tectonic plates contributes to the formation of mountain ranges. However, Mars geology is dominated by a single, massive volcanic hotspot beneath the surface. This hotspot has been responsible for creating Olympus Mons and other notable volcanic features on the Martian landscape. Number 10. The highest point on Earth is not Mount Everest. While Everest is the tallest mountain above sea level when measuring from the base to the summit, the distinction goes to Mauna Kea in Hawaii. Mauna Kea is an impressive shield volcano that rises from the floor of the Pacific Ocean. Its base is situated deep beneath the ocean surface, making its true height much greater than that of Mount Everest. When measured from its underwater base to its summit, Mauna Kea stands at approximately 33,500 feet whereas Mount Everest reaches 29,032 feet above sea level. The reason for this discrepancy lies in the geological processes that formed these two distinct mountains. Mount Everest was shaped by the collision of tectonic plates, forcing the Earth's crust upward to create the towering peak we recognize today. On the other hand, 
Mauna Kea emerged as a result of volcanic activity beneath the ocean, with much of its mass concealed beneath the water's surface. Number 11. Pluto's Moon Charon is half the size of Pluto. Pluto's Moon Charon holds a unique place in the celestial dance of our solar system, particularly due to its striking size in comparison to its parent dwarf planet. The discovery of Charon in 1978 was a significant milestone in our understanding of the outer reaches of the solar system. American astronomer James Christie noticed a slight variation in Pluto's brightness, which led to the realization that it had a moon. The name Charon was later proposed and officially approved, drawing from Greek mythology and Pluto's role as the god of the underworld. What's particularly fascinating about the pluto charon system is that they are often referred to as a binary dwarf planet system. Due to their similar sizes, they orbit a common center of mass that lies outside either body. It's a bit like a cosmic dance, with both bodies orbiting each other as they travel through space. It's a remarkable thought that such a small celestial body, a moon no less, can possess such complexity and character. It's a reminder of the many wonders that await us as we continue to explore the outer reaches of our solar system. Thanks for watching, and peace out.